Right, so welcome back to another Xbox video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. Not quite sort of turn that into that. What I've got is an original OG Xbox skin for the Series X. It cost me 11 or 12 pound on eBay. I'll put it on the screen right now. So basically in today's video, it is just how you put this on. Um, I looked at a few of them, the Atari Woody and a few others, and I seen this and I thought that is a no brainer. So without further ado, let's get this on and see what it looks like. Right, so let's just have a little look around the packet. So it's got four steps, uh, step one, two, three, and four. Cooling unaffected, easy to apply no goo and scratch resistant so there's all the steps just there so yes yeah, made from a thin layer of vinyl with which dissipates heat uh, zero effect on coolant no tools required simply peel stick and press they fit like a glove every time our skins peel off without leaving any sticky residue or goo behind and skins act as a protective outer layer because we all know how easy it is to scratch plastic. The Series X is not that easy to scratch. It's not as glossy as the um, the previous one. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do one side first and then speed the entire process up. So you don't really have to sit through um, watching me put this on all four sides. So you've got that nice one there the Xbox logo and then this one is for the front which is the I was going to say CD then DVD uh, Blu-ray drive slot button and then that so yeah that one is the back as you can see all the ports there and then obviously that must be the ah so there's one yeah so it's all that's for the one where you can turn it on its side, as you can see there, the holes for the stand. And then the other one as well, the other side. Controllers as well. Very nice detail on these. Righty ho, so without further ado, I'm gonna put this, uh, this first one on. Right, so what you're best doing is cleaning it with glass cleaner. That is an absolute beast for cleaning things. Even though it's not glass, it does clean things quite well. And then what you want to do after that is exactly when you put on a screen protector on your phone, is get some cellar tape and just dab it on and get all the uh, the bits of dust off. So I can just find some cellar tape or some parcel tape. You get these with screen protectors, little sticky dab and things. And just basically get any dust off. Right, so I'll go I'll go this way actually. So, so let me see. So the way to do this is quite simple. Right, so what you want to do is pull this on the anti-slip mat is basically just line, pull it down a bit like that. Don't pull it all off and try and put it all at once. As you can see there, it's quite thick as well. So it's a nice, uh, nice thick skin. Right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this forward a little bit, just, and then make sure it lines up perfectly. I mean, it doesn't have to be absolutely spot on but as long as it's kind of straight yeah that's that's what I'm doing me <clears throat> so just dab the top of it down like that just to get it on just so you know where you're going with it now you can use one of these if you want you don't really have to but it's nice just to you know get it all even when you're pulling it all down so pull the 
back paper off. Slowly, slowly does it. Let's just check that. Nice and straight. Fold it down. As you're going down, just pull it as well. Now we have hit the button here. So it is not quite straight on that button there. So we're going to have to take it off and just slightly shift it over a little bit. Right, so we have the front on. Just give that a wipe and press it down. It was a little bit fiddly that part, like, but I did have to go and get this sort of exact. I mean, it's not. It's not exact, but you know, it's not either. It's not a ski whiff either. So give it a bit of a hard press and a rub. And there we have our first decal. So pretty much same with the back. And um, we're just going to turn it over. And again, give it a spray. And then a little dab. Now this one is a little bit more complex because obviously you have all these ports as well. And it will cover this as well, but there's a little bit of a cut out there for whatever that is, your little lock button. So it's gonna cover your, um, your barcode and all that, which I don't think really matters, does it? So, right, we're gonna do this one and then um, do the sides. Right, so the back's done. Now it's not perfect. It's straight and it's over the holes. So what I recommend for this one is starting at this end because it is very, very fiddly. And just be careful when you're pulling it off because these are actually quite weak here. So I've just nearly snapped it. Just there and there is the weakest part of this. That's not too bad. So just be careful, start bottom and then go up to the top because um, yeah, I mean, it won't matter, it's only the back, like, but, you know, but so far we have the front. I mean, look at that. This is going to look absolutely bloody amazing because I've got an LED stand. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bore you with the process of putting them on. I was going to time lapse it, but there's no point. It's just a quick tutorial on how to put these decals or skins on your Xbox Series X. Right, so now onto the controller. So it does require a little bit of patience because it's quite fiddly. Or they can be quite fiddly these. Again, be really careful with these because you don't want to rip them. Just be very careful peeling them off. And what you're probably best doing is just peeling the whole lot off because you're not going to put this on at any angle. And kind of see there, look, you got to watch things like that. These corners here can be quite hazardous so I'll just slowly pull it I mean it is quite tough but it will rip it will rip believe me that's it just pull that off now there you go now from memory I've never got one of these perfect it's a case of just slowly loading it on like that, and then just kind of get the bottom all lined up if you can, just like that. See, it's pretty much all lined up. And obviously you've got these cutouts here because it, if they went there, it'd just have a big bulge. So, let me see. So yeah, probably best see if you can get the bottom lined up. 
So I'll try that one first. You can just see a little bulge just there. So I'll just move that across like that. And then I think we are pretty much all lined up. As I say, it's not gonna it's not gonna look perfect, but it's gonna look okay, should we say. So something like that, maybe, I don't know. I mean it's not it's not perfect, but what I'm gonna do now. Uh, just off camera, I'm going to sort all these little bulges out. You can see one there, there's one there, there's one there. As I say, this does take a little bit of time. Just be careful with this one, as I say. So I'm going to cut now and come back when hopefully I've got this on nice and flush. Right, so here it is. It is not perfect, but it's on. So you will get the occasional, like out on the ends here, they just, if you use it all the time, it's gonna end up coming off. I'm not really a fan of putting these on the controllers, but I just thought I'll put it on today just for video purposes. As I say, this, it's, it, it's okay. It's, um, it's on, it's not perfect. The console was the main, subject today uh, I know I've got ideas for this actually this little uh, controller which I will show you in a minute so um, yeah I'll show you the finished product now right so it's on and it does say that it fits like a glove and it kind of does but it's not it's if you don't see the it's probably I don't know slight millimeter out maybe Anyway, so there's the front and the side. That would have been better actually on the front. The back and then the side as well. So this side is where you can actually lie your Xbox down, which is a bit of a problem because yeah, it's um yeah, it doesn't look very good. But I think in all honesty that should have went on the front rather than that maybe that on the back i don't know but um it looks nice i must say it looks really really nice controller as i've just showed you it's not perfect but it's it's okay i might just have to pull that in a little bit more there but um yeah i, I say i'm not a fan of these because the more you play the more sweat you build up and then you do end up losing the stickiness on there and on that side and basically just underneath just there as well so yeah i'm not really a fan of them but i'll show you what i'm going to do with one well i've got a broken con uh, controller so i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with this right now right so regular viewers of the channel will know that quite a while ago i built this little beast which is basically an original xbox put back where it belongs into a PC case. Now, what I want to do, or what I wanted to do, was have a controller on display in there as well. Like, I've got a broken controller, and if I can get a little stand for it, that can probably sit inside. Now, I'll just show you, just very carefully. Um, it's, it's hard to see because of the reflection. Yeah, maybe I was. It, it's only a thought for now, but maybe I can put a controller there on display because when this is turned on, if you've seen the video, you'll know it all lights up as well green and all these lights here that you can see this little rope light, um, all slowly color change. So, possibility in the future, I will have that inside. Well, not that one, but the broken controller in there with that on display. Now it's quite hard to see, but it does look quite nice. I mean, it's not totally dark just yet, but it does look nice. Now there's one downside to this is because obviously it's got a skin on it, uh, you've got to sort of just give it a gentle push into this uh, stand because obviously it's it's adding a little bit more um, millimetre onto it. I think or something like that. So. 
but yeah as you can see it's looking quite nice right so what i'll do is i'll drop a link in the description if you want to buy one yourself and as always cheers for watching and i'll catch you in the next video shooting son what's your name Siri <laughs>